J.C. Ryle said this, the true Christian is called to be a soldier and must behave as such. He is not meant to live a life of religious ease, indolence, insecurity. He must never imagine for a moment that he can sleep and doze along the way to heaven like one traveling in an easy carriage. Refuge, that's, he's talking to us. He's talking to us. We're not called to just kind of trot our way through this life. Our calling is to take up the mantle of the gospel to speak boldly about the hope that is found in Jesus. Rarely will it cost you your life in the United States. Rarely will that happen. It may cost you something. Probably will cost you something. It may cost you a job. It may cost you some friendships. It may cost you a few arguments. It may cost you a political office. Who knows what it might cost you? It'll cost something. But rarely will it cost you your life. But let's be so bold, bold people, just like Stephen, the power of the Holy Spirit to speak clearly about the gospel, not to mess around, listen, not to appease other people whenever they say, well, my God this and my God that, and there's multiple ways to heaven. Let's don't be so cowardly not to say, I know you may, not to be unwilling to say, I know that's what you believe, but here's Jesus says this, I'm the way. You, you can't hold to Jesus and other ways. It's Jesus, choose his way, or you're choosing a, multi -path, a path that leads to nowhere but destruction. Let's speak clearly. Let's speak confidently. You're like, preacher, I can't do that. That's your job, bro. You're the professional in this. You know what? That's not what the scripture calls us to. Scripture calls all of us to be in this. So speak clearly, speak confidently. If that means you need to open your Bible a little bit more and read it some more, bro, open your Bible some. You're like, well, preacher, I ain't got a Bible. Well, you know what? We've got one we'll give you. Open your Bible, read it, clear, and understand it. And then speak convincingly. Like you want somebody to know the Jesus that lives within you is the Jesus you want to live within them. That's what our calling is. 1 Peter 3, 15 and 16 says this, but in your hearts, revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect, keeping a clear conscience so that those who speak maliciously against your good behavior in Christ may be ashamed of their slander. That's our role, Christians. But for some of you, that's not your role. You're not a Christian. And you're not called to spread the gospel because you don't know the gospel yet. The gospel hasn't changed your own life. You have not been moved from death to life yet. And so the words that you speak will not be spoken one very confidently or very believingly. And they'll come from a place of um, obligation rather than a, a place of a desire for people to know Jesus. And so rather than you speaking those words of the gospel to people, we'd rather you believe the gospel today. We'd rather you come to Jesus today. Just like Stephen would call people to follow the gospel and declare the gospel, we declare it to you that there's salvation found in no other but Jesus. And our hope for you is today that you will come to Jesus.